SpaceX has revealed plans to launch so many Starlink satellites into space to improve connectivity and reduce cost. If the tech company is able to deploy as many satellites into space as possible, this move will revolutionize internet connectivity as we know it. In fact, it will change the global online space with the aid of high-tech infrastructure. In this video, we will tell you all you need to know about SpaceX's Starlink satellites and what they portend for the future. Starlink is a constellation of satellites currently under construction by SpaceX. The goal of these satellite networks is to provide high-speed internet connection to users across the globe. The network will consist of thousands of small satellites installed in Earth's low orbit that work in conjunction with transceivers installed on the ground. These satellites will be interconnected to provide internet to users connected to it. SpaceX plans to sell some of the satellites to the US military for scientific purposes. Currently operating from Redmond, Washington, the research center is already working on producing as many satellites as possible under record time. The cost of the contract at full completion is expected to be at least $10 billion. SpaceX started working on the Starlink project in 2015. By February 2018, two prototype satellites were test launched. By May 2019, about 60 satellites were launched. This number continued to grow as more satellites were deployed to Earth's low orbit to provide most of the globe with access to the satellite constellation. On 15th of October 2019, the Federal Communications Commission submitted on SpaceX's behalf filings to the International Telecommunication Union. Details contained in the filings sought approval to add an additional 30,000 satellites to the already existing 12,000 approved by the FCC. While the promise of cheaper and more efficient internet connectivity raised hope for a better future for the world, astronomers have voiced concerns over the negative effects so many satellites will have on an already overcrowded orbit environment. This concern opened up discussions about the effect one company will have over the appearance of the night sky. But the question is how good is SpaceX Starlink satellites and how do they work? The emergence of Starlink has had quite the expected effect on the telecommunications industry. This is simply down to the fact that many regions in the US, for instance, do not have access to high-speed internet. In the US and in many other parts of the globe, some regions do not even have internet access at all. Even with the coming of 5G, the number of towers required to make this technology work will not make high-speed internet a possibility. If you thought 5G would be good, Starlink promises to be better. Starlink uses a network of satellites to bring signals to users on Earth. With more than 1,000 of them already in space's low orbit, with several thousand more earmarked for installation in the coming months and years, access to fast internet in every part of the globe is now a possibility. Unlike conventional satellite dishes, Starlink satellites are not geostationary or geosynchronous. This allows users to realign their dish to pick up a new satellite if the satellite their dish is connected to is not transmitting strong signals. Another big advantage that Starlink will have over other conventional internet infrastructure is that this will operate very close to Earth. With the satellites hanging just 340 miles above Earth, signal delays or latency will be avoided. The closeness to Earth will also increase internet speed compared to the direct TV satellites currently used in the industry, which hangs over 22,000 miles above Earth. Starlink is yet to release its pricing plans, so interested users do not know for now just how much they will pay for data. But at the moment, Starlink plans to charge a flat rate of $99 per month during the beta period. However, we do not know if this rate will remain in place or not. A coverage map has not been released to the media yet, but the FCC filing shows that it will provide commercial service access to southern Canada and the northern part of the US. Then, as more satellites are deployed, the network will be expanded to cover other parts of the globe. For now, the highest concentration of satellites is in northwest US, California, the upper Midwest and Vermont. Will SpaceX Starlink kill the cable industry? The answer to this question is not straightforward, neither can one answer it using a yes or a no. With Starlink offering beta access internet to users for $99 in the US and spreading its reach into Canada, its customer base will only continue to grow. According to data, there are over 700,000 Starlink subscribers and many more are only going to join Starlink's platform as its reach continues to expand. 
The emergence of Starlink presents a very strong competition for cable providers like Verizon, Comcast and AT&T to mention a few. By the end of 2021, the decision makers at Starlink claim that the outfit will be able to offer internet access to the rest of the world. If internet users follow through and ditch their old networks for Starlink, this will spell doom for internet cable service providers who have dominated the market for more than two decades now. With dwindling revenues, these companies may be forced to innovate or close up shop. While Verizon and co may bank on their cheap subscription rate to counter Starlink's growth, we should bear in mind that subscribers on average tend to value quality over price. The downside of Starlink is the $499 fee for equipment purchase, but if the company comes up with a cheaper equipment package or provide users with different plans, this won't be a problem. As for the $99 monthly subscription fee, many subscribers will have no problem paying this rate as long as the quality of service they get is top-notch. Furthermore, with plans to increase internet speed with more satellite installations, Starlink hopes to provide users with up to 1 gig speed. With such an internet speed, the $99 monthly fee will represent a bargain compared to the $85 monthly fee Comcast currently charges. SpaceX may be at the forefront of the New Age satellite constellation drive, but it is by no means the only firm involved. Amazon and OneWeb are also working on their own satellite projects for high-speed internet too. These companies are in a race against time to provide billions of people worldwide with fast internet who are either underserved or unserved. With so many satellites hanging on Earth's low orbit, astronomers are beginning to sound the alarm about the potential consequences of having so many satellites muddled together. Critics warn of a potential catastrophe caused by satellite collisions, cybersecurity breaches, the impact so many satellites will have on the environment and human health, and not to mention the impact they will have on astronomical observations. Some critics also argue that too many satellites will ruin the beauty of the night sky. These concerns will continue to grow ever louder as SpaceX, Amazon and OneWeb continue to add to their satellite fleet. Amazon alone plans to deploy more than 3,200 satellites under its Project Kuiper network. If this trend continues, we might just have tens of thousands of satellites in Earth's low orbit in the coming decade. What effects these constellations will have on the Earth is something we will never know, but as the saying goes, only time will tell. Starlink satellites will provide high-speed internet to users all over the globe, and this development has divided opinion. Some people welcome the development, while others believe that having so many satellites in low orbit will have adverse effects on our way of life. So, do you think Starlink will be good for the world like SpaceX claims, or are the critics right? Let us know your thoughts by leaving a comment. Also, kindly subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.